Hello, so in this video let's put some legends, text notes and shadows to the sheet. So let's go to foundation plan view and let's move a little bit our uh, foundation plan and in here let's go to uh, shadow section and let's look for structural foundation shadow and let's put this shadow inside uh, our plan. So if you remember this foundation plan is according to my title block 180 and it nicely fits on top of my uh, title block but my uh, foundation plan is uh, quite big and it's not good location for my shadow to be on the top of my title block and it gets some problems if I put it also on the bottom part so in this case I will make uh, some changes so my uh, shadow uh, will look more compact so I change the size of uh, this part because it has uh, long names so now I see them in shorter version and also I can change the part here and now my shadow looks more compact and I can put it in this position and for better viewing maybe I can move it from here to here so all lines connect and I can move my comment part here it's not snapping to my drawing lines uh, maybe in other versions it will do it so I can do it by dragging uh, some lines or I can go double tap and write let's say this part will be 17 this part will be also 17 and this part will be uh, 23 okay maybe a little bit larger yeah and let's move a little bit down yeah now my foundation plan uh, is having this shadow nicely placed in this location uh, the same goes the foundation materials if I take them so from here I see my foundation material list is also giving some uh, uh, extra space it needs so in this case uh, I can put this uh, uh, material shader to another drawing or I can make some changes so let's try to do and use a little bit larger paper size let's say I want to use a2 format and in here a2 format will be I think multiply by 2 equal yeah so in this case I have a lot of space so I can put my shadows nicely in the suitable location and I can re rearrange my first plan also so I have nice better to do in, in edit mode and change it by writing some numbers but now I just do it in quick way and it's better looking if uh, columns uh, match each other but in, in 
this shadow I have uh, three columns in this location and in here I have only two columns in model space I don't have any uh, comments in here I have some comments so uh, it depends from uh, information what is in the cells how to manage this part okay so here I have my model also from this big view I can see maybe I can fit my pile foundation also in the same view so I can combine several uh, several views in one sheet yeah I see it's it should fit here also and I can make only one sheet with all the needed information for my foundations I can move a little bit my my view so it uh, catches lines and having some reference lines so all my grid lines is in the same place and I can see both views here and next let, let's put some text notes and maybe legends so for legends let's look I don't have any uh, foundation legends so in this case um, I go to legend section and let's create some legends for foundations annotate legend components and let's go to structure foundations and let's select some piles from front, from side. And okay, piles to pile foundation, uh, slab foundation. And okay, slab foundation, foundation and I don't see my wall foundations, pile foundation okay so I don't see my other foundations so I can just uh, show these foundations here I can show in wireframe so I can see through my foundations or I can just uh, use the uh, hidden lines and maybe use find representation and view show hidden lines mm, now it's not working like that so let's just make wireframe and in here I can show main dimensions of my foundation and also draw some center lines for my piles to understand what is the location of these piles And this one let's put here uh, so let's put some dimensions but you see I cannot tag and put any dimensions because this part is not working uh, so it is simple version let's leave just uh, this type of foundations in my legends and let's use foundation pile foundation this one is to pile air free gp1 so now i now i will put the text and i will put the name title name 3.5 in here 
So this is my representation of my foundation. So small legend and I can put this legend in my drawing. Next part, let's put some uh, text notes. So I select text, I choose 2.5, and let's create text notes. Notes. And for note taking, I will use uh, a list of numbers. And let's say first note. Yeah, so let's say for reinforcement, look in the structural drawings, and also I can put some additional information about materials and other stuff. It's if this information is not presented in my views or my uh, shadows. And the last uh, additional component for my foundation uh, extra thing, so I can put my 3D model of my foundations let's make duplicate of this so this will be foundation plan in 3d 3d and in here i will make some changes i will crop this part i will use this cropping tool and will show just foundation part I will hide these objects, hide category, and also I want to see only walls uh, and other parts, so I turn on all the categories, I turn off all elements, I just leave uh, only structure part, and in structure part I go and I select walls, foundations, columns, maybe stairs, maybe these are the main components. And for, okay, so I select and do like that. Also, uh, I can uh, show it in, uh, in course view. So it's just representation. And of course, uh, if I want to put some tags in 3D view, I need to lock this view. Let's lock it and I want to change a little bit settings so I will use hidden lines and uh, I use uh, graphic display options so I want to see transparent view so 50 and maybe let's go back to consistent colors and I can see this representation of my foundation, the transparent representation of my foundations. So also I can use tagging and I can tag my foundations in here. So I can see it where they are located in my 3D model. So let's go back to my sheet and let's put this nice looking 3D in here. And for 3D, I don't need any title, just... So in most cases, 3D is just representation of uh, main information and it can be in, in a smaller scale, let's say 1 to 200, just to show information uh, if you have space, like I have here, so I will leave it in uh, in scale 1 to 100 and it fits nicely all my drawings, shadows and all the information about foundations I have in one place.